like you have earned with your lovely audienceness, our final comedian of the night. And what a comedian she is. Uh, she hosts a variety of events downtown, trivia, bingo, comedy shows, and she is the, the mastermind behind the, the comedy website where you can find all the comedy in Colorado, 5280 comedy. She is Denver comedy. Everybody give it up for Megan DePonso. <laughs> Keep it going for Daniel, everybody. And the other comedians you've seen, that's awesome. I know what you're thinking. Three lesbian comedians in a row, oh my God. Wow, no, I wish, I wish. I played rugby for the free beer, mom, okay? Oh boy. I, uh, I love the energy in this room, it's great. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a little tired. I, uh, I worked a double today. Um, but both those guys are really nice, so. Just like so in love. They didn't even need me. I didn't understand. Uh, sometimes in the morning I wake up and I'm like, hey world, what kind of adventures can we go on? What can we eat? What we, can we taste? What can we see? And then my bank account calms me immediately down and we settle on bottomless mimosas. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Solid. I mean, I'm resourceful. I grew up very poor. Anyone else grow up poor? Woo. Yeah, Woo. growing up poor. It makes you like... Better at just doing, doing stuff, like getting things done. Like I remember growing up really poor because I remember going to these really bad schools. I remember in like eighth grade health class, this kid Terry just raises his hand and he's like, so are the condoms dishwasher safe or? And I was just so mad that kid had a dishwasher. That was not fair. It's not okay. I, uh, I grew up poor, but I, I am having a really good day. Guys, I have a comma in my bank account for the first time ever in my life. Yes, it's amazing. So I went down to one of the fancy uh, grocery stores. I went to go get some healthy groceries. And I walked up to the grocery store with automatic doors. Um, doors didn't open for me. That's fine. You don't always win at life. That's totally cool. Except the dude behind me came up and he was like, ha, those doors didn't open for you because you have reddish hair and that means you have no soul. I was like, calm down, dude. And I just turned around. I was like, actually... I don't even exist. You're the only one that can see me right now. Welcome to Shutter Island, bitch! <laughs> and then I just followed him around the store playing out other Leonardo DiCaprio movies. <laughs> There's room for me on that door, Rose! <laughs> he started walking down the produce aisle. He was like picking up grapes. I'm like, what are you, Gilbert? Yeah, I didn't see that one either. <laughs> just saying, if you're gonna get a restraining order, have fun with it, right? <laughs> it's a good time. I was, uh, I was at a brewery here in Denver recently because every building other than this is a brewery. Next time you guys go to the hospital, try the ICU IPA. It's delicious. <laughs> Locally harvested yeast. It's wonderful. And I was at the brewery and I got, a, I got a, a flight, so I was taking my flight of beer-like shots, as I do. And I turn over and there's this couple uh, sitting right there and they were like, it sounded like they were arguing at first, but then I realized they were on a Tinder date because they were rapid firing questions back and forth to each other, like an interrogation, which is so hot, right? <laughs> and the girl asked the guy uh, where he lost his virginity. And he's like, in a car. And she got all upset. And he's like, why, where did you lose your virginity? And she's like, in a bed like a lady. The thing is, I lost my virginity in a ditch behind a church, so I don't know, like, the lady scale. <laughs> but I think losing your virginity in a car just as normal as losing your virginity in a bed, right? It's like a rolling hotel for teenagers. <laughs> losing your virginity in a race car, though, super awesome. Losing your virginity in a race car bed, real weird. <laughs> You'll be explaining Lightning McQueen sheets to men you love for the rest of your life. <laughs> that joke is so real. <laughs> I have the same comforter as my four-year-old nephew. Okay, I, uh, I, I was, um, I think I was at that brewery. I was cheating on my diet. I'm on one of these newfangled diets. Um, you guys ever lose weight just to bond with your mother? No. Uh, <laughs> then we got into a fight recently. I've been on this diet. We got into a fight, and then this whole and like I'm trying to talk to her, and this whole like being a be bigger person, be the bigger person, is really messing with my diet. It's not working out. <laughs> I was on one of those newfangled diets where all I'm allowed to eat is strictly whiskey. So far, I've lost like three whole days <laughs> and my debit card, so if anyone could. I, uh, I think my diet's kind of counterintuitive because I think everybody loves eating food when they're drunk, right? Eating food drunk is the best, except I found the worst food to eat drunk, sushi. Because sushi's like the worst food to throw up, right? 
because it's so expensive. And it comes up cooked. It's like you're on the homemade ceviche. All right, that was gross. Oh, man, speaking of gross, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Hear me out. Any other football fans in here? Probably not. Yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah. I, here, so I, I follow a lot of football. I was born in Buffalo, New York. I've suffered tragedy. We'll, we'll cover over that. But I, uh, I remember last year, my favorite thing that happened in football. Any Detroit Lion fans in here? No, because why would there be? There's enough losers. I'm a Bills fan. <laughs> There's enough. Like, my favorite thing that happened is the Detroit Lions, they got a brand new stadium. Uh, they named it Little Caesars Arena after Little Caesars Pizza. And they won. And they gave every attending fan a free Little Caesars Pizza, making it the least used food stamp day in Detroit history. <laughs> Guys, I'm from Buffalo, New York. All I have to make fun of is Detroit, okay? <laughs> Here's what I don't understand about football on Thanksgiving. Why did the Dallas Cowboys and the Detroit Lions play? That makes no sense. It's Thanksgiving. It should be the Patriots playing the Redskins. And when they win, they steal their stadium, right? That's American history. That's how that works. I'm gonna finish up with this one real quick. I, uh, I like sex a lot. You guys should try it. It's neat, it's cool. Uh, try it on out. The thing I don't like about sex is like how everybody goes about to get it now these days, like dating apps. Like every time a new dating app comes out, I feel like Netflix missed out on the best dating app of all time. You guys know when you've been, you've been watching and knocks on your door like, hello, you still there? Yeah, I'm still watching Netflix! Okay, instead it could pop up with a nice little screen that's like, here's 13 other singles that just spent the last 10 hours watching Pokemon as well. Go outside and meet them. Or like pickup lines. Can we be done with pickup lines? Let's not get sex with pickup lines. They're just bad jokes. This guy came up to me in a bar and he was like, how do you like your eggs in the morning? I was like, unfertilized! <laughs> and banging their head against my biological clock. Thank you guys. I'm Megan DePonso. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going for Megan DePonso. It's weird to stay up here after a set. Yeah, this is a different, yeah. It's a whole different approach. Usually we just dive into the shadows. Yeah, I run away, I scurry normally. Yeah, I, we like to mix it up here. I mean, we usually ask, like, you know, the crowd enjoyed you, obviously. We never ask. How'd you enjoy that? I loved every single one of you. I made eye contact with all of you. It was beautiful. We can well make out done. after this. This is going to be great. Good job, crowd. You got a high score. <laughs> Megan DePonzo. So you're doing 8,000 things in the comedy scene. So much all the time. I do run a couple awesome things. I do a uh, Uncorked, which is a, com a comedy show for all palettes at Infinity Monkey Theorem the first Wednesday of the month. It's always a free show. Check that out. I also run a, show, a traveling house party comedy show called uh, Shantytown, and you can find all the special addresses and dates for that at Shantytown Party on either Instagram or Twitter. And then also you can follow me at Megan is a joke on any platform. So check well, look, it on out. There you are. Lower there third. it is. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Daniel. Give up no for Daniel, problem. everybody. Megan DePonzo. Ah, <laughs> uh, bring it in.